What's going on guys? Today is June 4th, 2013 and Apple has just released OS 10 update 10.8.4. As you can see right here, it's found within the App Store. You get here by simply coming to Software Update and there it is. Now in case you couldn't have guessed from the title, I will be installing this on my Hackintosh today and this is the Delta update. But of course, if you want the full on combo update version of this update, simply go to Google, type in 10.8.4 combo and it'll take you right to here. And if you guys wanna see an actual a full on changelog of what's different, then just click that link and here's the full list right here. As you can see, this is not a very significant update at all. This is mostly kind of a bug fix update. And the one the one bug fix I see in here that really does affect me and that I've been a victim of is a fix for an issue that may cause iMessages to display out of order. I have been victim to that in the past and it would be nice if that bug would you know never come back. So if you're the kind of person that just has to be on the latest version all the time, then you can probably go out and update and I would watch this video first, but you should be okay. However, if you just spent a ton of time getting your Hackintosh up and running perfectly, or you just don't like to update the first day an update comes out, then this is not an update that you have to go and run out and update. Because like I said, this is mostly bug fixes. So with that said, let's just go ahead and get started with the update. So I'm just gonna be using the Delta update right from the App Store. I don't believe that this is gonna be an update that breaks a ton of things that I should go with a combo for, but I'm just gonna go ahead and update, and I'll see you guys when this is done. As you can see, the update has now finished, and now you can click restart, right? Ah, wait, don't click that button yet. Save anything you're working on, make a backup of it. Go ahead, and if you're feeling ambitious, make a backup of that backup, and then click restart. Because even though this update doesn't offer many changes and is mostly just bug fixes, updates always have that chance of breaking something. So, back up anything that you would not want to lose in case the worst happens, and then click restart. And here goes nothing. I'm going to click restart and let the computer do its thing. Now, keep in mind that going the combo update route will result in a different installation process. The same basic thing will be happening, but the process will be slightly different as you'll need to manually run a .pkg file and then reboot after doing so. Once the update has finished installing, the machine will reboot by itself and, if everything goes according to plan, will boot back up automatically. As you guys can see, OS X booted back up exactly the way it should. I didn't need any kernel extensions or boot arguments or anything like that. It booted up just the way I would have expected it to. Now what we're going to do is come up to About This Mac. And as you can see, I am indeed now on 10.8.4. Now one thing I noticed, the problem is, I no longer have audio. And this is a very, very common issue that I'm sure a lot of you guys will probably face. And it's very easy to fix. All we're going to need is a trusty multi-beast utility. Over on this monitor, I have a copy of MultiBeast 5.3.0. I believe at the time of the recording, this is the newest version, but whatever it is, whenever you're watching this video, just go ahead and download the latest version right from Tony Mac. And this totally depends on what audio chipset your motherboard has. Whichever one I install may not be the one that you need to install. So definitely something to keep in mind, but I am using a DSDT, so I'm gonna go here with DSDT, and my board uses the ALC889 audio chipset. If you're not using a DSDT, then obviously you want to come down here to the without DSDT and pick the appropriate driver. The same can be said for any other kernel extensions that you may need to get your machine back up and running. Like I said, every single machine will be different. But for the purpose of this video, I only need the one and that's my audio chipset. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. And as you can see, that was a very fast install. And now I'm just going to reboot my computer once again. And after a simple reboot, as you guys can hear, I now have audio. So for me and for many people from what I've seen on Twitter, this has been a very smooth update. I've also seen some pretty interesting performance increases. You know, nothing major, but simple things like an extra 50 to 100 points on a Geekbench score, or even faster shutdown times have been reported on 10.8.4. This might not be the case for everybody, but I have seen some reports of these on Twitter. So with that said, it's a very straightforward update. Like I said, nothing crazy, but if you don't have to update, you may be better off not doing so. I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Also be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com, and I hope to see you guys back here very soon for a lot more Hackintosh content.